Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited today. I'm gonna to be reviewing Rihanna's Thank You Beauty. She just released it yesterday and I went to Sephora and I picked it up. And I got some products and I was like, I need more. I need to review more. So I went back and got some more for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Um, give it a thumbs up. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna talk about her primer. This is the packaging. Okay, this is what it looks like out of the package. It's really pretty. Has a very minimal design of a matte finish, which is pretty cool because I think her makeup has a matte finish. Oh, there it is. I hope that's not too much. Oh, it feels really nice. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do, this is her foundation. I'm in the color 310. And one thing I will say, at first I was going to buy my products online. Um, but then I realized that they're available at Sephora, so I figured I'd just go to the mall. So when I was shopping online, I matched myself to 320. And when I got in Sephora, the lady actually matched me to 310. So her swatches that are online are very accurate depictions of what the shade really is. Because I know there's one picture like where you see the shade and it's, it looks really good. You really can match yourself online with the pictures and the photos that she has. So I really like that because even though I have 310, um, 320 was the next shade over. So I probably could have went with either. So yeah, that's just a little heads up. So don't feel nervous about buying the product online because the color that she has on there actually looks like what, you know, what the product really looks like. This is what the product looked like. It's also had that matte frosted kind of finish and one thing i wanted to show you so this is hers it's, it's quite a bit of product this is a uh, max studio fix fluid and put this up to there that's quite a bit more product so i like that uh, especially for the price point uh, i like that she did that so when applying this I, I bought her this her sponge this is her sponge um it's really soft and i like that it's kind of small because you can get into like the crevices that you need to get into like it's not just too huge that's covering your face and it also has this flat point where I feel like you can just you know be a little more precise with this you know be a little more precise with this the directions say um if you want full coverage I believe you're supposed to apply this dry and if you want a more buildable buildable coverage um they want you to use uh to to dampen it and then build your coverage so I'm just going to use it dry just like so I see how the product work when I was in the store in Sephora, they were telling me that I should use like a flat brush like this to apply the foundation. So what I'm going to do, and I didn't buy her brush. She does have a foundation brush with her line, and I didn't get that. I might try to get it later, but I already had this, so I was just like, you know, I'll get her sponge. So on one side, I'm going to do the sponge, and on this side, I'm going to use the flat brush, and I'm going to see if there's a difference. Alrighty, let's do this. So, and I'm going to put it directly on the sponge. Um, another thing they told me in Sephora was that um, it, it's, it dries very quickly, so you don't want to put it all over your face and blend in. You want to work a small amount at a time. So, this is my first little pump, so let me get it out of here. So, I got my pumps. And I'm, I'm liking her sponge so far. This is nice. All right, I really like how that went on with the sponge. Now I'm gonna use this flat brush and see if there's a difference in how it applies. And I'm just gonna squeeze it directly on the brush. I kinda like both sides. I don't know, I really can't tell the difference. I don't know if you can. But I'm, I'm liking the coverage that I'm getting with this. <laughs> That's probably too much. That's probably way too much. I like this. I'm already liking this better than MAC. I'm not even going to front. All right. I will say I like it. Um... I did it dry, so that's supposed to be full coverage, and I believe that it is full coverage. And it, I don't know, it does have a very matte finish. 
and I believe it has full coverage because I, I don't have anything on like I don't have any color correct or anything I just put the foundation on top of my primer and so yeah all right guys so I'm gonna go ahead and finish um, I'm gonna do my contour because I didn't buy her contour shade and I'm gonna go ahead and contour and do that and I'll come back and then we're gonna do um, some highlighting and things like that all right so the next thing I got um, this is her matchstick shimmer skin stick um i got it in the color chili mango on here i believe this is a blush and a highlight yes it's a, it says highlight blush and enhance it says long wear light as air layering and one thing i noticed about her products i believe um she doesn't really want to just label something as like oh this is blush or this is this is whatever i think the thing about it is use it wherever it works for you i think that's her whole um Kind of model with her line because she wants everyone to feel like they can wear something like there's something for everyone so it might not work as a blush for you but it may look pretty on your eyes or it might it may look pretty um, as a highlight um, so this is what this looks like and the thing about this oh, I only got one but this is my magnetic so if you buy um, more of the blush sticks highlight sticks I believe the contour um, and the concealer they all they'll stick to each other so if i take this top off okay the tops aren't magnetic never mind take take that back okay so i didn't get any more of the magnetic products but these are magnetic and i guess that makes it easier like to travel with so you just bunch them together and just hold them and it's not like falling so it's kind of neat and it kind of has like a little honeycomb pattern and i love how she put her logo here i love her logo it's pretty and so this is what this, it looks like it's very vibrant. So I'm going to push this all the way up just so you can see how much product you're getting. That's not, this is not bad. Um, one thing is thick. And the thing about this, you're not going to be using a lot. Like you don't need a lot of this to, like if you're highlighting with this, do you see how vibrant this is? Like you probably could use this as lipstick, I'm pretty sure. Um, so I'm going to keep that down because I don't want that to fall off. So I guess, because I do have her other highlight. I'm not really sure how I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna use this kind of like a blush slash highlight, and we'll just see how they how how this goes. So I'm just gonna do like this. Okay, so you can see how orange that is, and I didn't get her a little brush. So I'm just gonna use my finger, and I'm just gonna work this in and see how this looks. It's really pretty. It's like a light, um, because I mean, when you're looking at this color, you're like, oh, it's kind of scary. Because I remember seeing them in the store, and she had about like five that were like peach and peachy and rose gold. And this orange just looked kind of out of there. And I was like, I do not want to fool with that. But this is really nice. I like this. This is pretty. Okay. Okay, so let me stop being scared and go and blend that in. All right, so I have my blush. I might have went a little overboard, but that's okay. As I still, as I'm still putting more on. This is so nice because it's not shiny at all. Like it just. And it's not like, you know, sometimes if you already put your powder on and you're putting on something that's um, like a creamy consistency, it starts to look cakey or look like it's sitting on top of it. Like, does that look like, that looks, that does, that looks really good. So this is the Chili Mango. Love it. I literally got this one because they said this was her, she said it was her favorite. This is the highlight. This is Trophy Wife and it has the name in the back. Big old letters. Huge. Ooh, it matches me. It has her um, logo. Looks really nice. All right, and it has a really big mirror. Oops, you can see me. <laughs> it's huge. See how big that is? Like, I can I can legit do my makeup with this. Let's see what the box says. The box says, creamy, long-lasting, endless ways to glow. Um, for cheeks, eyes, or anywhere you want to glow. So I'm just gonna take this. Whoo! And you saw, y'all saw her putting it on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Like you don't need much. <laughs> you just, Cause remember when she was putting on that video, Lark, it was just like bling, bling. Oh my gosh, this definitely, this definitely could be um, 
a shadow easily this could easily be a shadow and I would recommend just putting a little bit unless you want this gold tone on your face like I would go overboard like maybe if it's you going out at night or just being a little extra but like it's very very pigmented oh yeah oh yes honey like I don't really even gotta go back and add more like it's do you see this like I'm this is like one little swipe and it's still Well, guys, when I say this is pretty, though, I know it might look extra popping on the camera with all these lights. Look at that. Okay, this side I did more on this side. But when I say it is so pretty, okay, so I'm probably going to go back and get her other highlights because this is very gold. Like, it's not just like, oh, you have highlight. No, you're going to see the gold. Like, you see the gold. Okay? So it's that kind of highlight. Oh, and she was saying, like, how she likes to put this all over. So let's um Oh hey collarbone collarbone popping yes yes get a little I don't know just put it everywhere shimmer 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 I'm scared to put it on there like you don't need much Can you see it? Okay, I think I did pretty good. Okay, now let's go ahead and highlight our bridge. That's so pretty. Oh, I'm um, being extra. We're gonna do here too. Hello, Cupid's bow. The last thing I'm gonna be um, that I bought was the the Gloss Balm Universal Lip Luminizer, and it just says Addictive Shine Nourishing Wear Universal Finishing Touch. Um, this is what it looks like. It says Fenty Beauty has her logo up here. This is this is a lot. This is a lot of product. Let's see what I have over here on hand. This is my shape tape. Uh, this, then I give you a... Okay, this is a MAC Studio Fix bottle. So, And it's pretty thick, you know, for it to be a lip gloss. And it still has that honeycomb shape that she's using. Whoa, you know what this reminds me of? Oh, it smells good, like a vanilla. This, this sharp shape tape, you know how it has this thick application? It's very similar. And I love this, I love this application thing. So this is nice that it's big. It's not flimsy at all. That's, that's pretty big, like that's, okay, let's just put it on. Should I dip it again? Why not? Mmm. Doesn't doesn't taste good. No, <laughs> doesn't have a flavor. It has like a slight hint of like a peachy or a pink tone, rose gold. I don't know, but this is the look. This is it. Let me spray. Okay, so to sum it all up, y'all, this is where it's at. Like, Mac who? Like, why do I need to get MAC anymore? Not saying I won't ever buy MAC, you know, whatever. But, baby, and like, so this highlight that I have on, this is her extra highlight. Like, she even lets you know that this is if you just want to be extra. Because who walks around with gold on their face like this? Like, I have even more on this side. <laughs> like, why? No reason, just because. This is more like that in your face. This almost matches my dress, you know, so... Ooh, look at that though. Like, you can't tell me my highlight ain't popping, son. You can't tell me it's not popping. Like, whoop, 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 whoop. Catch it. And he's little, oh, has a nice, nice smell. I don't know if that's vanilla. I'm not sure what it is, but it's really nice. I probably put, too, I think I put too much on. Got my little highlight up there. Got my little shimmer stick blush on. My primer. I think it, I'm loving it. So just a reminder that um, Fenty Beauty is available exclusively to Sephora. So you either have to go to Sephora.com or go to go inside a Sephora um, store 
And you can also, of course, find it at FentiBeauty.com. Um, I also would like to say I love her website. Um, it's very easy uh, to navigate. Um, she has stuff listed out, almost listed out on, in how you would put put it on, I believe, if I'm remembering correctly, like like primer, you know, foundation, concealer, shimmer, you know, it's like all the way to the blotting powder, the blotting sheets that she have at the end. And it's not like all over the place. When you click on it, everything's going to show up. Boom, boom, boom. It's really easy. Even the foundations, when you click on them, it literally goes... Like from left to right, you can go back and forth and go through all 40 shades. And she has a picture of a person who's the skin color of the shade. She has the skin, the, the bottle, she has the actual liquid out. And I will say this, it is very easy to match your shade from online. Don't be scared to buy online thinking like, oh my God, what if it's not really my color? How does this really look? What you see on there, that's literally how it's going to look. Her highlighters are bomb. Uh, I would recommend all of them. Even though I only showed you one, when I went in the store, I swatched all of them. And when I say they're all, you see that? You see that? And do you see that? And do you, like, this is huge. This is huge. This is going to last you forever. Okay, so get it. Um, I plan on going back and getting the rest of them, just to be honest with you. I'm getting the rest. I like the primer. I love the foundation. I love the foundation like I think the foundations and the highlighters are my favorite y'all this is like the best the best let's get a close-up of this highlight Ooh, ooh, ooh! look at it these lips this foundation though it's just so smooth everything just so just is that great job one thing that was really neat like i was nervous that like it was gonna sell out but i was like no this is now this is a staple in sephora whenever i go on sephora fenty beauty will be there this is not like a, oh my god i gotta go get it because you know it's a limited edition or you know like she's partnering with mac no this is her line sephora is carrying her line like they carry nars and anastasia and tart they are carrying fenty beauty she is there so you know, if you don't get it now, I'm pretty sure you can still get it later. So don't fret. Like, I don't think you guys understand how happy this makes me. Like, I'm already in the Navy. And this just like, hey, yes, yes, Riri, let's do it. So, okay. <laughs> I can't stop looking at my highlight, though. I can't, I can't stop looking at my highlight. You see it. Don't act like you don't see it. Oh, it's there. It's everywhere. It's even on my collarbones. My collarbones, Bobby. Somebody get the camera. Somebody get the camera because because I probably could I probably could highlight my hands. Like my knuckles. Would that be cute? No, too much. Too much. Who said it's too much? Too much? Okay, it's too much. <laughs> okay. This is initial. I haven't worn it all day. But, like, it's, oh, I love it. The coverage is nice. It's, it's, like, if I didn't put all this extra stuff on and have my brows and, you know, all that done, it can look very natural. Like, you know, like, you don't have anything on. Like, so you're just trying to get a nice, smooth complexion. This is great. And it, it went on so easy. It was very easy to apply. I really like the sponge. Um, I'm, I want still want to buy her flat brush just to try it, but... This was nice. I love it. Price point is really well. It's kind of like the same as MAC. So, and MAC is kind of like in the middle. So you got like your drugstore brands is going to run you anywhere between five and around $16. And then you have like your really high end that can run you around 50 to <laughs> high as you want to go. And I say a mid range is, you know, around 15, 16 to about 40 like anywhere in that range like that's something where you can like just splurge every now and then and still get something i believe it's affordable so i'm really glad that she did that like, she has some things that, like bundles that you can buy together and i think it'll be a cheaper price like i believe you can get the highlighter the concealer and one of these shimmer sticks and it's like 54 dollars for all three of them as opposed to buying one for 25 um yes i recommend getting it I believe she did a great job. I'm so glad she came out with this to show these people how it's really done. 
Do you get what I'm saying? Like you have these celebrities that want to come out with a makeup line and they're not putting what they need to in the product, you know? So kudos to her. All right, guys, I just want to thank you guys for tuning in. Thanks for watching. I hope this review was helpful for you guys. And I hope you go out and buy her products. This is awesome. Mm -mm -mm. So thanks for tuning in. I'll see you guys later.